following is a presentation of the PAC Sports Network. ball game, the St. Vincent Bearcats do it back to back. Good afternoon and welcome inside the Rudy Marisa Fieldhouse where today on the PAC Game of the Week, it's the Waynesburg University Yellow Jackets taking on the Grove City College Wolverines. Dave Floyd here alongside me today is Nick Farrell. Producing is Randy Gore and our cameraman is Nate Rigotti. And today in the first game of the doubleheader, Waynesburg and Grove City, the Waynesburg team comes in at 2-4 and four overall, 0-1 uh, in PAC play, losing their first contest against Thomas Moore on Wednesday. Grove City, on the other hand, 1-4 and four overall. They also lost their first PAC game of the year on Wednesday. So each of these teams coming in um, and with a combined three wins, both 0-1 in, in conference play. And Nick, when you look at these two teams, it's still early on in the season, but uh, certainly when you lose your first game of the conference schedule, you, you want to get back on track and uh, kind of get your footing a little bit and, and start to pick up some wins in conference play. Well, that lopsided Waynesburg result from Wednesday, the Jackets were the first team this season to be victimized by Sidney Moss and those defending champion Saints 89-68. You know, what Coach Jones told us before the broadcast, Dave, is that maybe Thomas Moore isn't as good as it has been last season, but still good enough to beat the Yellow Jackets by 21 points. Wayne's, or Grove City, excuse me, much closer margin, 49-42 against W&J Wednesday. In the past, we've seen these teams split their season series. Two years ago, Grove City won here at Waynesburg, and then Waynesburg traveled to the arena at Grove City College and won there. Last year, the Jackets defeated Grove City twice by double-digit margins, so this has been a very competitive series, at least since this senior class has been at these two universities and colleges. Yeah, and you would certainly expect that to continue this year with the way at least the results have gone so far this season. Uh, early on with both teams coming in with, with similar records and identical records in, in early on here in conference play. But uh, yeah, you mentioned that uh, the first game, of course, of the conference schedule uh, for the Waynesburg Yellow Jackets uh, taking on Thomas Moore on Wednesday right here at the Rudy Marisa Fieldhouse. And, uh, they, they hung in there for a while. It was within 12 early in the second half, but in the end, as you said, just too much. Sidney Moss, 42 points, nine rebounds. The Saints also had two others uh, in double figures in that contest to come out with uh, the 89-68 win. Uh, really a bright spot, though, for Waynesburg in that contest. Rebecca Kerr, a career-high 24 points, and uh, that's going to be important here today for Waynesburg as we've heard about some, some injury news on the perimeter for the Yellow Jackets as well. That's right, and speaking of that news, Lauren Blair, the team's starting point guard inactive today. Also inactive is Rachel Lovely for the Yellow Jackets. Uh, both of them sustained injuries against Thomas Moore. Head coach Sam Jones didn't necessarily talk about the extent of those injuries, but we will know they won't be playing today. But both of these teams have seen some scoring uh, from a, uh, a core of scorers. For Waynesburg, it's the unexpected scorers in Kerr, who averages over 10 points a game, and then freshman Addie Netzer, who's averaging 11 points per game. And then for the Wolverines, three players in double-figure scoring. One, of course, Kelsey Shirey, who has led the team in scoring for the last couple of seasons. This year, she's aided by two others. One, Kaylee McLean, who's a senior, also averaging close to 26 minutes per game. Look for those two today. 
Yeah, absolutely. You also have Catherine Herb Herbelding as well. Uh, she's kind of in that top 13 as well. Uh, a few scores for Grove City. So, uh, yeah, it's certainly going to be kind of that trio there that Waynesburg's going to have to contain if they want to you know, try to come out on top here. And this one and another one. When you're looking at the Yellow Jackets, too, is going to be Hayden Giuliani, a big year last year as a junior. Uh, hasn't been able to produce at quite the same pace this season, just uh, almost three points a game, and she's someone on the perimeter again with Blair out um, that's going to have to be able to uh, step up and make some shots today. You're exactly right. In the past, she's played a little bit of point guard. She's more comfortable as a shooting guard, though. She really likes to shoot that three-point shot. Today, we may see her put into a bit more of that point guard role, but as long as she can get some open looks from beyond the arc or some long twos. She'll find her groove and be very important for this Yellow Jacket offense today. Yeah, so we'll see what she can do uh, later on here. We're getting close to tip. Just about four minutes from getting started here on the PAC Sports Network. We're going to take a timeout when we come back to starting lineups and we'll get you set further for the beginning of this game. Waynesburg and Grove City coming up next.